Let's talk about San Diego Comic-Con 2019. What's up everybody, I'm Tylock and this is Homespun Geek. What's going on guys? Uh, this actually probably won't be a very long video because most of what I got from San Diego Comic-Con I got online and today is Friday so it's obviously not here yet because it's only been two days since I ordered anything uh, but I did get a couple of things in store but really what I wanted to talk about was the Funko products from the con itself. Uh, I had my list. I had about 10 10 or so uh, pops that I really wanted. I ended up probably buying about 15, including the two packs. Uh, but I'm actually really surprised at how little sold out and how long it took for things to sell out. Uh, I do know that one of the first things to sell out was the Go Tanks at Box Lunch. Uh, and then, of course, Red Chrome Vegeta sold out. And then. Uh, Carl and Ellie at Up at Box Lunch, the two-pack uh, from Up, uh, sold out. And then I believe King and Kodo sold out online. Uh, however, we went to our GameStop much later in the day, and they said that no one had been in there at all to buy Funko products that whole day. So, uh, And then I was watching a live stream on Instagram of Ramon from Funko Frenzy waiting at the mall. Ramon and I live in the same area, and he was at the mall uh, in front of Hot Topic and GameStop. And there was no one there but him. Uh, so kind of really shocking to me that uh, there was really nobody waiting to get anything at, for, from Funko this year at any of our stores. We did all of our shopping online and then we stayed home uh, to do the Funko shop on Thursday morning because this is where the internet is best out here. Our mall has no internet hardly at all sometimes. It's really, really spotty. Uh, so I decided to stay home since I'd gotten most of what I wanted online. Uh, and even the Funko shop kind of blows me away at how little sold out. I believe two things had sold out the last time I looked. Uh, it looked like both of the Flintstones animals were there. Both of the Wacky Races were there. Uh, it looked like the Scott Pilgrim 2-pack was still there. All of the Peds, of course, were still there. Even the Toucan uh, ad icon was still there from San Diego Comic-Con. The only thing that I could see that sold out was the Batman uh, pop and HR Puff and stuff because uh, the Squid character was still online. Even a day later, all of that is still online. So uh, kind, of, kind of surprising to me. And it makes me wonder if Funko's popularity is starting to decline. Uh, it's obviously not here. I still really like all the Funko stuff, but it makes me really wonder about the popularity. Did they increase the numbers this year of what they made? I don't really know. I haven't looked into it that much, but really, uh, this year seems really surprising because you could go to any of our stores here and they're still fully stocked. Um, they still had King and Kodos at GameStop. They had two of them, uh, as well as a lot of other things. Uh, well, everything. Sheree, sent, Sheree actually went and sent me pictures and they still had everything on the shelf. So uh, there was nothing that they were out of at all. And that was at about noon or one o'clock on Thursday so they said that no one had been in the store that day to pick up any Funko products so alright guys anyway that is my thoughts on SDCC I'm a little surprised with how nothing really seemed to sell out even today guys Toy Tokyo dropped this morning and an hour after they dropped I went and looked and the bundle was still available and usually Toy Tokyo is fast to sell out. Everything on Toy Tokyo seems to sell out pretty fast. I've actually never been able to get it because of that fact. Uh, and uh, it seemed like the bundle was still there up to an hour or more after uh, it dropped. So very, very strange San Diego Comic Con this year. I was expecting a lot more things to sell out a lot faster. I'm actually surprised at some of the stuff that didn't sell out. I'm kind of surprised Quasimodo didn't sell out at Hot Topic. Uh, and then a couple of others at Hot Topic. Uh, it did look like Fox, the Flocked Fox, did sell out at Hot Topic as well as the Red Chrome Vegeta. But that is the only ones that looked like were not available online right before I started filming, guys. Everything else was still there. So if there's anything you guys are looking for, you could still go on Hot Topic or Box Lunch uh, and get it. Uh, they did still have the Moana ship or boat or whatever that is at uh, Box Lunch. The only thing at Box Lunch that was gone, guys, was the Up 2-pack and the Dragon Ball uh, Go Tanks Go. So, uh, yeah, pretty surprising, pretty strange. Not much sold out. 
Uh, and what did sell out took quite a while to sell out. It was still available throughout the majority of the night. I think Gotenks was still available for an hour or two hours after it dropped. So, uh, But that was the first thing that I noticed had sold out. So I was able to get it online and there will be a video coming at some point with everything that I got online. However, today is not the day because I know I don't have any of it yet. So, uh, But let's go over what I did get this year in store. The only store we went to guys was GameStop. Uh, that's the only store we went to this year. I didn't go. Sheree went at about one o'clock in the afternoon and picked up a couple of things that I wanted to get. Uh, the first thing that we got, guys, was this awesome two-pack, Kang and Kodos. This is an awesome, awesome two-pack. This is probably my favorite thing from the con this year. These are beautifully crafted beautifully sculpted uh the domes are awesome the the little la ray our laser gun over here in his hand is awesome i am 100 guys gonna do a spinner video with these two uh and one more thing so you guys can see it and then i'll try to get a glow uh going on that as well so you guys can see kind of the glow of king and kodos towards the end of the video guys so yes king and kodos awesome two pack we did pick that up in stores like i said when Cherie went, they still had the two that they had from the beginning of the morning. No one had been to our GameStop to pick any of these up, so they were still sitting on the shelf, and fortunately, they were in mint condition in store. Now, the other thing, guys, that I got at San Diego Comic-Con from GameStop this year in store uh, was a little strange because I actually pre-ordered it months ago. Didn't know it was a San Diego release. However, it does say San Diego exclusive 2019. That is the sticker right there, guys. This is the Ghostbusters pop and T combo. This is the trap, the Ecto containment unit trap, guys. That's what you see here. That is an awesome box. I really like that a lot. This is the shirt, uh, but yes, let's open this up. All right, guys, that's the box there. A little bit less of a glare. The top, of course, is the, the box itself is the containment trap. Uh, that's the ghost trap that they, they uh, use in Ghostbusters. So I got this open, hadn't opened it yet. Was waiting for you guys. Here we go. This is the pop. This is awesome. Uh, GameStop only, Peter Venkman covered in slime. Uh, that is really cool. This is that's the common one right there, but this one has the slime all over him. Uh, really, really cool. I will put him as well as Kang and Kodos on the spinner at the end of the video, guys. I am a giant fan of Ghostbusters. I really, really love Ghostbusters. So when I saw this on our pre-order list at GameStop, I pre-ordered this two or three months ago. But it does say that it's a San Diego. 2019 exclusive so that was a little strange that I was able to pre-order that and it did came in it came in on the day of Comic-Con so of course we went and that's what we went to get guys uh, at GameStop was our pre-order and then they also had King and Kodo sitting on the shelf so I went ahead and bought King and Kodo so all right let's look at this shirt guys what I like about GameStop shirts guys is they always have my size they always have the 3x shirts there is the shirt guys very, very cool. Slimer and Vankman. Uh, this is the Ghost Battle. I really like this a lot. It's really, really cool. Who will you call Ghostbusters? Uh, awesome, awesome. It's about time I got a Ghostbusters themed Funko shirt. Uh, very, very cool. I like this shirt a lot, guys. So, uh, yeah, there you go, guys. That is it. That is the shirt. That is the pop. So, that's really all we got in stores, guys. I'm sorry that this is a very short video. I know that uh, a lot of people bought a lot more than me, but I, I got everything online, so we didn't even go to the store. So, uh, But yeah, so that is it, guys. We've got Kang and Kodos 2-pack and Peter Venkman all slimed up. So that is really all I had today, guys. Sorry again that this is a short video. There will be a San Diego Comic-Con haul video as soon as I get everything in the mail, probably in the next week or so. Uh, but so look for that, guys. Uh, but yeah, Peter Bankman, awesome. That's a great pop. And Kang and Kodos are 
probably the best pops I think from Comic Con. What did you guys get? Tell me in the comments below guys, what did you pick up in store or online? Uh, what was your number one this year? I'm interested, I'm always interested to see what you guys have to say. So that's it guys, that's all I grabbed in stores. Uh, stay tuned for the spinner after the video's over guys. But as always, I am Tylock. This is Homespun Geek, and I hope you have a nice day.